Islam, Islam, Islam. Everybody, I was um, trying to do one of these a little bit ago, and then I had got a call. But real quick, because I said I want to do this a little more often. Let's use these opportunities and this, this platform just to put the frequency out there, man, of the prophet. That's really, that's his message is what this movement is about. Prophet Noble Drew Ali. Okay. El Ha Sharif Abdul Ali. His message is what this is about. He brought everything that he brought for a specific reason down to the last pyramid on the period on a sentence. I don't even care. It's so high level. Like even if you read through one of his readings or something, and let's just say something was misspelled or it just didn't, it just the wording of it was like, huh? You got to understand when you're talking about a prophet, you're talking about Allah on earth. <laughs> so even that little maybe miscue grammatical error might have a psychological effect that you need to open up a channel in your nervous system, in your mind, okay? This is the ways of a prophet. You got to understand that. Everything is divine. You are God yourself. You are law and man is, is one, are one too. So when you attune and you're in your moments of entombment, entombment and your higher self is in charge, you're doing the same thing. You're letting Allah spill from you. The difference between us and a prophet is, is that the prophet has went through the processes for a secure and constant connection to usher in and save nations from the wrath of Allah. We'll put it like that, right? And the reason I'm, I'm bringing this up, you know what I'm saying, and I don't want to offend nobody, I just, something that came across my, my wavelength was that people forget the duty and the, 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 the role that a prophet plays. What Noble Drew Ali did was come and give us a shielding message, a shielding grace to move on. So anybody who wakes up today, yesterday, or tomorrow and decides that they're a Moor and realizes their nationality as a Moorish American that is only because of what Prophet Noble Drew Ali brought. Divinely ordained by our Father God Allah. All right? We cannot get away from that. There's fringe groups and people doing this and people doing that. And I'm just here to tell you, if they're not keeping the Prophet at the forefront, it will not prosper. It just won't. There's groups out here who are more or less like enlightened to our Israelite type of understanding of ourselves. And that's all cool. You call yourself a Moor, you're a Moorish American, and you more frame type of thing. That's all cool. But make sure that your foundations are based on what Prophet Noble Juwali brought. If you don't have a Moorish Holy Quran, how are you a Moorish American? He brought that to give you the gnosis of the mind, the religious creed, the divine instructions of a Moorish American. So I'm just going to go out on a whim and a limb and say, don't call yourself a Moorish American because that is a national bloodline, something that has to do with consanguinity political um, position that was established by Prophet Noble Drew Ali. If you're not in line with the understanding that Prophet Noble Drew Ali is the head of this movement, then don't call yourself a Moorish American because to have religion of Islamism, okay, if your divine creed is or principles our love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. You practice Islamism, and noble prophet, noble Ali is your prophet. Then 
you are a Moorish American. Okay? If you just want to be some kind of freelance person or whatever in this movement, then, and you're dark skinned, then just call yourself what you are, a Moor. Okay? You're just, you're just a Moor. You're a Moor. You're just basically being ambiguous to the earth. You're just a dark skinned person who don't believe in Prophet Nubu Islamism, and all this kind of stuff. Okay? That's what I'm getting at is that if you're going to call yourself a Moorish American, then you have to do the Moorish American things. Have your Moorish Holy Quran and read it. It's for your salvation, earthly sal and divine salvation sent to us by our forefathers as Moorish Americans. Okay? As the ancient Moabites who are now in the so-called Americas. Inhabiting the Mexums. The West of Mexum, okay? Um... You know, these are the quintessential pieces. Your one-on-ones. Okay? How are you going to, you know, get into the mind of a Moorish American if you don't know what the first Moorish American brought and why he brought it and what he did? Okay? That's why there's so much confusion is because everybody out here calling themselves a Moor don't even have a Moorish Holy Quran and a questionnaire. The two books you need. The prophet said, take these and save yourself. He brought you everything he, you need to save a nation with those two pieces of literature. Okay? So I'm just, I'm just saying it. If it's in your heart, for those with understanding, it will resonate. If you're a Moorish American, get the prophet's literature. Please, do yourself a service and save yourself from the great fire that's in the great terrible day that's sure to come and get behind your prophet that was sent divinely ordained by Allah for you it's just that simple drop your pride and understand that the little guy with the little book came for you he looks like you he talks like you he thought like you he went through what you went through and more and in some cases maybe less but he understood all walks of life because he was a prophet okay so I just want to leave you with uh, just some of his reading because his energy, his energy that he left, these are going to things that, these are the kind of things that's going to see us through. Okay. Um, maybe I can find one that you might not see all the time. He left this one to the members of the Morris Science Temple of America because you are the Morris Science Temple of America. It's not a building with a red building with a big green star. The Morris Science Temple of America. The Morris Science Temple of America are the Moorish Americans. Okay. This is uh, to the members of the Morris Science Temple of America. <clears throat> March 11, 1929. Noble Ali. Islam. This is the instruction from your prophet, Noble Ali. Be faithful unto your forefathers' divine and national creed that you will be blessed for your good deeds. That you sow in the flesh. Do the works now. And you'll be paid in the hereafter. Be honest here and you'll be wise in the next, right? Allah is the one, ju is the one that judges the world and his judgment is now on. But the weak comprehend it not. The end of... Sorry. The end of time is drawing near. So says Allah to his divine prophet, I, Noble Drew Ali. And that is why many hearts have been turned to stone and many eyes and many have eyes to see, but cannot see. Ears to hear, but cannot hear. Lest they would be confounded of their sins. These are the trying hours now, dear Moors. It's 1929, so what time do you think it is now? And every evil spirit is moving, and they are trying every weak mind to overthrow and drag out the true foundation that has been laid and to cause confusion in the minds of the ones that do believe. But if you have the true love of Allah and the spirit of your forefathers, you fear not of what you hear or see, but will sacrifice the utmost of your very life to protect your movement and your profit. Islam, and I'm going to protect them and this movement. Watch your enemies, dear Moors. Your enemies are the ones that speak against your prophet and ridicule him to the very lowest 
and the ones that speak against your divine and national principles of your temples. Act accordingly, and Allah will bless you for your good work. Peace. Your divine prophet, Nobu Ju Ali. March 11, 1929. The frequency of that. I'm telling you. This ain't no man worship. This is Allah worship. Arm, lay, lay, arm, head worship. This is understanding who you are as the more. Understanding when a prophet of our own blood and our own lines comes and gives us the good word. But you either marked or you're not. It is what it is. If you don't understand what the prophet brought, then peace upon your soul. All right. But don't 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 get it misconstrued in no sense of the way. If you're trying to make this some fringe movement, if you're not keeping the prophet at the head with his messages, knowing his words, knowing his literature, knowing who he was and trying to put that out there to the world, because why would you want to send any other message than what a prophet of our lie has brought? That's the most powerful message you're going to get. So why try anything else? <clears throat> of course, you're going to have your own times and moments and ways of teaching, but keep that as the foundation. And therefore, you'll always be in line. All right. This ain't about you. This ain't about me. It's not even about so-called Prophet Nubu Jali. It's about what he brought. The logos, the word. Okay? So, don't forget that, man. Keep the prophet at the forefront of your movements. He told us <clears throat> in our one-on-ones who and what we are. Be that. It's okay to know that you're a Hebrew Israelite or whatever. It's cool. Hebrew Israelites... Religion is Islam, ism. Okay, when you do the true study, it's not Judaism. It's not. It's Islamism, the first religious creed of the world, from time immemorial until time unknowable. It shall be that way. Don't fight what already is. Don't fight what you don't have to fight. Learn to be. Learn to be who you are. That's why he said. How is he going to uplift the fallen humanity? By teaching us to be ourselves. That's it. So if, he's, if he said he's going to uplift fallen humanity by teaching us to be ourselves, and then he gives you a questionnaire and the Holy Quran to show you who you are. Be that. You don't got to be a rabbi and all this kind of stuff. He never said nothing about no rabbis. There's nothing wrong with rabbis. He took, they, talk, they called Yeshua a rabbi. Okay? I'm not saying... That you can't be that or not that or that's wrong. What I'm saying is that if you keep it simple, stick to what he brought, you will see yourself through. You will be seen through. All right. So that's just my message. I got enough to on my plate to try to make sure that I'm on the up and up and doing what I'm supposed to do. But I just share that with you because that's just what's placed in my, my, my atmosphere right now, my surroundings, my thoughts. And um, just keep the profit first. Can't say it enough. It's redundant, but that's the whole thing. We live in cycles. You're either going to cycle up or cycle down. You know, Stay the same or whatever, how you want to see it. I'm trying to go up. That nine ether. All right? So love to y'all. Um, in love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. High honors to Prophet Noble Drew Ali. High honors to all the active Moors. High honors um, just to the nation in general. Um, to my bloodline. Um... And, you know, y'all just, just, just keep high vibrational thoughts in these times. A lot going on. But we got this, Moors. We got this. All right? Any means necessary, that's within the bounds of our divine principles. You know what I'm saying? You have the right to defend yourself <laughs> and you're the ones you love. So never forget that. And you also have the right to just be at peace. All right? But peace is there for you when you grieve. Peace comes as a tool when things get Peace isn't about nothing happening. Okay. So I digress. Um, just get at me. If you need anything, any questions, go on RV Bay Publications. Follow Canaan Land Moors. Rise of the Moors. All right. We all know who some of the master teachers are. But these are the kind of guys that I rock with because I understand that um, it's like when you know people who get it, then you got to promote the people who get it. They get it. They're, they're just, they get it. Okay. We get it. So you either get it and the people who get it going to know you got it or you don't got it. Okay. 
Islam.